today. But happy vlogmas day 19. Tomorrow starts a Christmas break and I'm so excited. <clears throat> I'll catch up with you about where did my voice go? Okay, I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> behind and I have to scrape my car so my bad but let's go goodbye hotel room you've been good I'll see you in the new year well sorry for the bad angle but I'm just about to leave work don't know if you can hear me it's freezing but um <laughs> I took my coat off because as soon as my car heats up it's like million degrees here so I should be home around 5 30 ish it's kind of good late now it's for something um but yeah um okay I'll talk to you when I leave my work so don't think it's time for <laughs> Should I go tell my other? 
weather for us, Merry Christmas. I don't even know how to describe it. I have a really weird job. It's not weird, it's just the hierarchical structure of that person almost hit me. So we're staying in your own lane. Um, so I was like, yeah, I guess I'll go tell him, like, Merry Christmas. So I just went in and was like, I'm leaving, I'm not here tomorrow. Christmas, okay bye, but it always sounds like I'm gonna cry, but I'm always just out of breath <laughs> um, when it's cold. Is anyone else like that? I just find, especially when it's windy, also like we work out, not outside, like I have an office, but for the most part, um, we work outdoors, like my office is out, like the door to it's outdoor, I have to go outdoor or outside to get to everyone else's office. So, it's very cold, very windy, I'm always winded, but I find it really hard to breathe in the wind, um, that would just be a me thing. Anyway, so I thought that was weird, but I'm very proud of myself. Also, because, um, because I do have a panic disorder, and it's honestly been really good, I'm not gonna lie, in the past little bit, I have my moments, but because of my panic disorder, like, I just missed my boss and I left. I feel really bad, even though it doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. My panic disorder really changed my life. Um, man, I have never heard my car this loud before. Well, that's my normal exit. So I really hope you can hear me. Should I start yelling or do I just sound ridiculous? But... Like I said, my panic disorder like really just changed the way I live my life and I'm really trying to get back to where I'm not. Like I think taking this job and like working, <laughs> honestly just like working um, and working with this group of guys um, is really good. Like they're really nice to me um, and they treat me with respect and I wasn't scared to work with guys. Like I don't know, I feel like a lot of my friends are guys but like working in the construction industry like I don't know you hear bad things but knock on wood these guys have been great everyone treats me with respect even just in like the aspect of like it's okay if I mess up sometimes one I'm new two no one's perfect nobody's perfect oh uh, sorry but yeah like they're so chill about it like they'll be like okay fix your mistake and resend it and I'm like okay and it's on a big lecture I just feel really good about it, I guess. Um, uh, no, a transport truck, you cannot pull out in front of me because you can't pass and I'm already not going the speed I want to. Sorry. This is what I mean. People are crazy here. And I was just, and I jinxed myself. <coughs> I thought it in my head. I didn't say it out loud. He's going to say, man, I'm glad I left 20 minutes earlier than I normally do because traffic isn't that bad. But it freaking is because of this guy. I think there should be a law that transport trucks can't pass each other because on a two-laner. Because, like, when traffic gets really bad, it gets really bad. And he's not pulling over. Like, you're going, you're not going fast enough to be in the passing lane and now you're trying to pass all these people. It just really bothers me. But yeah. Also, fun fact today, I was like this all at work because I'm still freezing. I have the heat turned on, just not like it was. Okay, sir, you're not even doing the speed limit. So get off the road. I have road rage, but this just really makes me angry. Especially now, well, I've been long hauling for four or five years just because of university, but now I long haul like multiple times a week so it really makes me mad and if you I don't know like maybe if someone's riding behind you that can do the actual speed limit in the fast lane you shouldn't do that so I think I have enough gas anyways this part is all over the place but you know I'm just like living my life and I'll probably go soon because I don't know if you can hear me and I want to jam to some good music and mostly I want to turn the heat up more and I, this car is not also going fast enough. Again, you pulled out in front of me. 
for you guys this day is how do you feel about driving? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Let's like <laughs> chat. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I should have known my precious baby would be in here. Yeah, who's a good boy? You are. I love you, Moki. <laughs>